Hey guys, it's me Alicia and today I want to share this project that I made. Um, this was a clock that I altered for my mom and I work holidays and weekends so we are celebrating Christmas today because it's the first day off that I've had like in like a week. So I wanted to quickly share this with you because I am going to give this to her today. and. I've seen a lot of those Tim Holtz clocks that you guys have altered, and I looked and looked and looked everywhere. Thrift shops, and, cause, you know, I wanted to save a little money and get, um, you know, just pull something apart and alter it myself. And I found this at a thrift shop, but it was, it's like a super heavy, kind of cast iron type of clock. I still like the uh, style of it, so... It was um, silver, so I spray painted it white, and then I used a bunch of my bridal. Um, let's see, maybe I should lower it a little bit. Um, and then I used a lot of my um, bridal trim to alter it. So I'll get, I'll get a little closer here for you guys, so you can see all the detail. And it was really easy and really fun to make. I'm still gonna be looking. I'm, I'm looking maybe. If I could find a plastic one so I can alter it and maybe ship it and gift it to somebody. So, um, I did use my hot glue gun and it actually stayed on pretty well. When I tried to use my E6000, the paint that I had spray painted was kind of melting with, the, with that glue. So, I actually found that hot glue worked way better, which I didn't really think that it was going to stick to the metal, but... It, it really did work so I just cut up all my bridal trim and then I cut up some lace um, for the edges now my favorite part is this I actually found this stuff and um let me see, I don't want to make you guys dizzy moving around the um, the glittery f um, leaves are actually from that Christmas picks that um, Joanne's and Michael's had on sale and I bought a bunch of these because I do want to use them throughout the year for projects like this and then this right here this like acrylic and pearl spray there's a little bit more here and then there's a little bit more here down in the bottom so you can see these were also from the um, the Michael's Christmas stuff they had these um, like acrylic garlands so I got it when it was 70% off and I got a really big chunk of of all this stuff that I can use throughout the year I also made her a stick pin and then this flower that I made with satin shabby flower and then a pretty bling button and then I made her a charm my mom loves Parisian stuff so I put a little Eiffel Tower there for her and I just chained up the charm around the edges and then look how cute that is I made this little dangly with a clock of course and then I made this piece over here and then on the top I also did the same thing I put some more bridal trim and then I just layered some flowers, shabby flowers and then put a link button in there as well and then on the inside now what had happened is it came with a glass but then um, I left it for a day and this is really heavy and it's cast iron and it's really cold and um, I also left it by the window and it's, I mean um, here in Minnesota it snows and it was like below I think it was like 13 or 15 below that night and I, I left this right by the window I didn't really think that it was gonna get that cold or I don't know if it was that or a combination of the, how I glued it but when I came home from work it was all cracked it was a crack that was straight like cut the whole thing in half so I had to take the glass off which I mean it doesn't look that bad say so I put some rosette um, trim on the inside and then I just glued this inside so it's I mean it doesn't have the glass but since it's an altered project I didn't really think it would be that big of a deal and then here in the back I put some fabric um, some of my lace and then some of my rice bead trims in there too see here you can see a little bit 
I missed this spot and didn't really paint this, but it's the back, so I'm not too worried. She won't even see that. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys an idea. I know there's a lot of clocks and a lot of people do um, do these projects, like just altered, but I really like the idea of a picture frame. So, I hope you guys like it and um, it gives you guys some inspiration. And thank you for watching.